Hey everybody, welcome to this painting, pop art painting program. Uh, the tools you're going to need are a newspaper, maybe an easel if you have one, uh, a canvas, whatever size you want for whatever kind of picture you want to do, some paint pens, an extra fine and a fine uh, pencil, an eraser just to fix your little mistakes. You're going to need some X-Acto knives to cut out your picture. And right here you're going to need the paint colors specific to your picture. And then you're going to need something to cut your picture on. You can use cardboard, a cutting board, some paper towels to dry your paint brushes and said paint brushes, whatever kinds you like to use, and the picture you're going to paint. Here I am, uh, you know, taping down and tracing out my picture. This is the way I do my stuff because I don't know how to draw freehand. That's not my kind of thing. So I figured a good way to do it is to trace it. Now here we're going to uh, paint the background whatever color you want and here I'm showing you you're going to have to cut out the different parts of the picture and you get out your X-Acto knife. Be very careful because they are very sharp and so I'm showing you where I'm cutting. I'm going to cut out the rock that she's sitting on so that I can trace just Ariel's body onto the onto the canvas there. Make sure you get everything. Careful with fingers. Don't want to get cut. Here I am tracing it on and then I'm going to cut each individual piece so that I have her like formed out on the on the canvas so I can paint each individual you know spot. And here we'll go finish off the tail right here in her mermaid tail and then the little sides of her mermaid tail I'm going to do and uh, just fix that part up there. Here we go and done and then as you can see I finished tracing everything and now I'm going ahead to paint her my favorite part of her her bright red hair and as you can see the red isn't covering all the white of the canvas so I'm going to be able uh, I'm going to go in and uh, do several coats so it covers it up real nice so you don't have to see any of the canvas poking through and that is something I'll have to do for just about every every color of paint skin tone getting her nice color. Now I always loved doing this. I started doing this during quarantine, you know, picking up my old habits. I learned how to do painting as a kid. I, I could draw back then. I don't do it anymore. I just do my tracing. I don't sell any of this stuff. It's just I paint for fun and maybe as a birthday or Christmas gift, you know. It's a fun, fun idea to how to do a Christmas gift. And so we're doing the other layers you saw me, as you saw me do here, uh, uh, covering up the white from the hair so you, the canvas isn't poking through. Fixing it up here. Doing her seashells. I decided to go with like a nice metallic purple to give her a nice shiny look. Or get very particular to make sure that every edge is covered. I will be outlining most of everything in one of the paint pens that I showed you. That's why I got an extra fine because extra fine does it easier. And here I am trying to mix up the color of her fins. I'm very particular about the color the way I do it. So here we are we're mixing it. I'm testing the color and we're gonna see how it looks right here. I went and go ahead and got these little plastic paint pot things at Michael's. They're great for storing mixed colors. So you don't have to guess every single day when you make a new color. And so I'm just filling it in here. And again, like the other colors, I'm going to have to do several coats so the white doesn't poke through. Now we're moving on to the main part of our tail. This is another color I mixed, just uh, a darker green with like a more more turquoisey type of green. And as you can see, definitely needs several layers. Just getting it, make sure I don't get any on her fingers. No worries, I can fix that anyway. I find painting very relaxing, and I 
zone in. Here I'm using my paint pens and some darker colors from what we've got. The green is going to go on the fins to do the outlines. Red for hair, purple for the seashells. Now I'm going to use this really thin brush and the scissors uh, to do the detailing. I'm going to cut up, for example, I'm going to start with her seashells um, and I'm going to cut them so I can just draw each individual line so I can give it you know, definition so it's not such a flat picture. I'm going to do the same thing for the fins and the hair. The hair I'm going to do by hand, you'll see. And here I'm cutting the seashells. Why I used scissors instead of my X-Acto knife for this, I do not know. But I did. So I just go here, I cut them, and I'm going to put it down on the picture, and I'm going to trace it. So here we go. The only problem with using pencil on this metallic paint is that you can barely see it. So I had to, so if you can't see it, trust me, it's there. But the dark purple, like the little grape purple going on over it gives it great definition. Made a few mistakes, but I fixed it up and now I'm doing the tail. Uh, I also did learn that I can use chalk, but I prefer to use pencil instead of chalk for my outlining because I can just cover it up with the paint. And so I just have to do several go over the line several times so that the pencil doesn't bleed through. I didn't do that so much on the hair because it gives it a little bit more definition. So here we're going with the fins and then I'm going to do the part of her waist as well. And here I'm outlining the just the main part of Ariel and her where on her rock that she's sitting on. I'm using the fine point uh, Sharpie paint pen in black. This is just how I do it. It looks more cartoonish. And then I'm going to use the extra fine to do the parts on the inside, like the fins here and then the rest of her tail, her seashells, and then like her shoulders and her face. I'm going to go ahead and do it in that extra fine pen. And uh, excuse my hair just peeking in there. I got really, really close. And here we go. It's looking good and there she is and now I'm drawing in the lines for the hair where I'm gonna paint over in a darker red I'm just doing it by sight because it would be this part's a little bit more difficult to do it by cutting and tracing so this part I will do by hand there was some finagling I had to do there move around erase and fix and here I go and it's looking good faces on my stuff when I paint because that kind of defeats the whole pop art type of look and also I'm not real good at drawing them but uh, I traced out as best I could with the face here and I'm actually really proud of it I really like it it's one of my favorites that I've done uh, I make a little boo-boo here with her eyes because I put the white part or the sclera I believe it's called in the wrong spot put it right next to our next to her eye where I should have put the blue color for her eye and so after I fix the lips and then I outline the face here, you'll see the little mistake, but hey, it's paint. It can be fixed. It, I just let it dry and then I eventually paint over it as you will see. There it is. Wrong, wrong way. And here I am realizing it, my mistake and kind of fixing it. 
She looks a little weird, but she will be fixed in the end. You'll see right there. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for this fun uh, art tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and learned something new, a fun way to make a gift for somebody when, you know, for a birthday, Christmas, whatnot. Uh, so don't forget to go ahead and like this video, like or follow us on YouTube, and then go ahead and scan this QR code right here to go ahead and go to our Facebook page to see all the fun stuff we got coming up. Okay, well, we'll see you next time. Bye.